I'm Kyle Crawford. I'm 35. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, and uh, down here in Nairobi. And uh, this year, I'm doing uh, tactical um, instructing. So I actually am in a, a Bible study, a small group uh, with Dave Moore, um, who uh, helped found uh, Africa Fire Mission uh, about a year and a half ago. He told me about um, coming to Africa and training firefighters and, and serving firefighters in that capacity. And, um, was immediately intrigued. Um, I love being a fireman in, in the States, um, and I love uh, sharing the knowledge that I've gained um, from other firefighters in the States. And um, yeah, so it's just been a cool opportunity to kind of do that. As far as preparation, um, just for uh, time away from my family, um, the, the mental, the, the physical, the, the spiritual um, kind of preparation um, was, uh, you know, talking to Dave Moore uh, over the last year and a half uh, and just um, asking questions to, to find out um, what service in a different country looks like. Uh, I've never done a mission trip. I've never honestly been outside of the United States much at all. Um, so I, I have two girls at home um, and, and I'm married. And so, you know, ensuring that my wife is okay with me being gone for you know, 15 plus days, um, and you know she's essentially a single parent right now, uh, back home in the states, um, and just understanding that I'm making a sacrifice by giving up my time here, but back home my wife is making a big sacrifice as well. Uh, as a firefighter in the states, uh, where I work, we do 24-hour shifts, uh, so my wife is used to spending time without me there. You know, being a single mom uh, in that regard. Um, but to do it for a long extended period of time. Um, I know back home, you know, before I leave, I'm trying to set people to make meals for her to kind of get that set up for her. Um, but, I, and, you know, in preparation to come here, there, there are certain fundraisers that, that you know, do and asking people for assistance in the, the financial piece. Um, and that's a big struggle because, you know, um, especially experiencing what we've experienced to ask for financial assistance uh, in the States, seeing what we've seen is kind of um, ironic that we would ask for financial assistance uh, when we have so much in the States and, and having that new perspective now um, it kind of puts in the perspective of asking an American, another American for money that I have and to see what we've seen, it's just, it kind of all full circle puts it in perspective. Definitely coming into this, I've heard Dave talk about equipping and supporting um, the, the firefighters here in Africa. Um, but something that has definitely surprised me or, or kind of I'm, I'm learning about uh, what we're doing here um, truly is, um, I think, uh, service um, and not just the service that what can I do for you uh, but a service that I'm here with you uh, we are all one collective fire service um, that even though I come from the states where we do have certain resources that are not available here um, it doesn't make me anything better different than you it's just that we need to come together to serve one another to figure out how we can provide the best service for our community. Um, I'm a huge advocate for uh, searching um, and it's something I believe in and it's really cool to see although there are massive cultural differences between America and Africans, the one common bond that both African firefighters and the United States firefighters should agree on is, is, is our, our ability to go in and find people. Um, that should cr run the gamut and ru run kind of the, the across the board. Um, so just to see the idea of serving not only one another, but also serving our communities. So since we've been here, I would say the, the most special moment or most impactful moment for me, um, we had the opportunity to, to walk through uh, the slums. And um, so, you know, I come down here wanting to experience firefighter world, right? And to do firemanship with other firefighters uh, on a different you know, continent. Um, but to walk through the slums and to see people um, that have so little, but want to invite you into that. Um, I was, you know, talking to, to some of the guys that, you know, my daughters will be at home and they'll complain because they don't have orange juice or whatever, you know, is not in the pantry. And to put that, to see uh, people who have so little, but yet aren't expecting anything. Um, and they're just grateful that you're even around them. Um, so that's been eye-opening. It's been so good for me kind of as a reset uh, to really realize um, 
any way you look at it, there is a certain privilege that we have in the United States and to use that to not have power over somebody, but to use that to empower them and to kind of full circle to understand our, our, our purpose in being here is to serve in whatever capacity that looks like. When I instruct and teach, this is what I, it, everything boils down to the why, because I can teach anybody to do a search. I can teach anybody to throw a ground ladder. Um, but if you don't understand the whys behind it, then it just, it doesn't really have the true meaning. Um, and selfishly, I think originally my why was I love the fire service and I want to experience it in a different continent, right? And, and I want to experience what, what they experience. Um, now, being here, I think my why has changed. Um, why did I come here? Um, after being here for multiple days, I came here to learn what a, a, a being a humble servant looks like. Because um, there's, if you ever want to experience what being humble and, and also serving in that same regard, come here. Because your eyes will be open to something I have never seen before. So.